On Wednesday, the ultra-conservative Heartland Institute acknowledged that it was experiencing a financial crisis as a result of the departure of corporate donors, which made it challenging to pay staff members or cover the costs of its annual conference, which aims to disprove climate science. Heartland's president, Joseph Bast, acknowledged in a speech at the conference's conclusion this year that a provocative ad campaign comparing believers in human-caused climate change to psychopaths had cost a lot. However, Bast also blamed his poor financial management for Heartland's current issues. Because I'm not a good fundraiser and these conferences are expensive, I don't raise enough money to pay for them. As a result, we really scramble to make payroll to cover these costs, Bast stated. If you have the means, please contribute. Assuming you know somebody, assuming you have a rich uncle or someone in the family or someone that you work with, if it's not too much trouble, call them and inquire as to whether they would consider making a duty-deductible commitment to the Heartland establishment. Despite the fact that Heartland claims to have attracted 800 new small donors, the organization has lost at least $825,000 in funds from corporate donors. Heartland also received harsh criticism from its own supporters, many of whom criticized Bast for not informing Heartland's colleagues or board members in advance about the ads. The billboard controversy has shaken the faith of ultra-conservative activists in Heartland's ability to function as the Climate Contrarian Network's hub. Additionally, it has cast doubt on Bast's leadership. On Heartland's website, Bast is listed as the company's first employee. Heartland also employs his wife. However, Heartland was already struggling financially prior to the Gleek expose. According to the budget documents that Gleek obtained, nine employees were scheduled to be laid off or have their pay reduced in 2011. Compared to previous Heartland gatherings, which had up to 800 attendees and held multiple concurrent sessions, this year's conference was drastically reduced. Those occasions were likewise worthwhile for Heartland, representing half of its non-raising money occasions income as per archives got through misdirection by the researcher Peter Glee. Fewer than 170 people attended the gala opening banquet at this year's conference in Chicago, and the conference only managed to hold one session at a time and invited relatively few outside speakers. What's more, the main individual from Congress to go to this year, moderate conservative Jim Sensenbrenner, utilized his discourse to scrutinize Heartland for the board. He stated, we can continue to win these debates out of the strength of our arguments without resorting to unscrupulous tactics that only serve to distract from our message. Please do not misunderstand. At first, Heartland had no intention of holding a conference at all. However, after the association was shaken last February by the web sting uncovering its benefactor list and raising support technique, Heartland altered its perspective. But Bass said that Heartland might stop holding conferences. Although we have no immediate plans to hold another conference, I hope to see you at one in the future. Currently, not everyone can afford to pay for news. Because of this, we make our journalism accessible to everyone, even those in the Netherlands. In the event that this is you, kindly keep on perusing for nothing. However, there are three good reasons to support us today if you are able to. 1. At a time when the wealthy and powerful are getting away with more and more, our high-quality investigative journalism acts as a skeptic. Because we are independent and do not have a billionaire owner, your money directly powers our reporting 3. It doesn't cost much and takes less time than reading this message. Contribute to The Guardian's journalism for years to come, no matter how much you give. Please give us a monthly donation of just 2 euros if you can. It takes under a moment to set up and you can have confidence that you're having a major effect each and every month on the side of open, free news coverage.